Mrs. Allen? Yes? It's about your husband. He was just right here just a couple of hours ago, and now he's dead. Do you know of any reason why he'd be in that part of town? No. His office is uh, in Midtown. It's nowhere near night. What time did he leave the apartment? Around 6. He had just gotten back from his trip, and uh, he said he needed to catch up on some paperwork. He said he'd only be gone for a couple of hours. You said a trip? He was in Albuquerque on a training seminar. It was just two nights. Did you notice anything unusual recently? Any strange behavior? Well, he, he had to work late a little more often than usual. But in this economy, who doesn't? <laughs> he had to lay off half his department last year. And you're sure he was working late? What are you saying, that he was cheating? Every night he would walk through that door and the kids would just race into his arms, okay? And now he's gone. So don't ask me if he was really working late. Tell me why he was killed. He didn't mean to What about fly. phone calls, maybe late at night? Castle. Yeah. Yeah, um, one of the guys that John fired, Max Haverstock, he would call him up late at night and he would yell at him all, all sorts of things. I guess he was hurting, he needed money, and I, I told John that he should just hang up on him, and John said no, he, he couldn't do that. Did he ever give him money? My husband didn't believe in handouts. He believed that a man should make his way. Where is he? I'd like to say goodbye. About that, um... That was awkward. It just it doesn't make any sense. The guy's got a stable, middle-class life. Good job, good family. Maybe it's when Max was jealous. Yeah, maybe enough to kill him, but to steal his body? Hey, Esposito, I need you to look up a friend of the Vic. Max Haverstock. Okay, find him and uh, bring him in.